Good evening. Welcome to the March 6th uh, meeting of the Oneana Parks and Recreation Commission. Uh, we'll go through our roll call. By the way, I would like to welcome officially our newest commissioner, Courtney Sweet. Welcome. Glad to have you. Happy to be here. All right. Um, Chair Carolyn Marks, present. Commissioner Heino? Present. Uh, Commissioner Huntsman? Commissioner Cudmore? Present. Commissioner Sweet? Present. Council Member Katie Lapari? Hello. And Parks Administrator Lou Lansing? Here. Okay. Now that everyone does have a copy of the minutes from the February 6th meeting, Oh, wait, they did include the Friday, November 3rd date for the winter season. I did make that change, okay, or addition, should I say. I don't know why it was not the original, I guess I was trying to be mysterious. I guess I was just trying to be mysterious, I don't know why. The third didn't come out here. Oh, it did on this, though, in line. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it did, fine. okay. No, I meant on my original. Well, looking good. Okay. Would someone like to make a motion to approve the minutes from the previous Parks Work Commission meeting? I'll make a motion. Okay. I'll second the motion. Okay. Good job. Uh, we do have to get the vote on it, correct? Um, Commissioner Cudmore? Commissioner Heidel? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Marks? Yes. Sweet. Okay, motion's carried. Um, we don't have any petitioners in at present, at least here at the meeting, but I see that there were a couple of, or, or I see three correspondents, correct, Lou? Yes. Yeah. In, in your um, Parks and Minister report. Do you want to share Sure. Sure. Um, the first uh, correspondence I had uh, with uh, was with Jackie Bello. Uh, she's a regent with the Onion chapter of DAR, and they are preparing their um, DAR America 250 Patriots Marker Memorial, which they have donated to the city for the walkway, which we're really excited about. The location will be between. Uh, World War I, World War II memorials, and the Vietnam Memorial. If you walk over there, you'll see there's a space. That's where she where they put it. We picked the dedication. Uh, this is the date they wanted, Thursday, June 15th at 11 a.m. They thought a midweek thing was better than a weekend. So um, we're excited about that, and we look forward to it. Uh, the next one with Garrett Hill. He's a, apparently a graduate student at SUNY Oneonta. He emailed me uh, requesting to use uh, Neewa Park for parking for an event they're having on campus, a history event. Um, after checking with Carrie and, and, and um, our police chief, we thought it was best that they go, or I thought it was best that they go ahead and um, apply and do all the proper things. Uh, and I asked him to be here tonight. As soon as I sent that to him, I heard nothing more from him. So I don't know if they said, no, this is too much, we don't want to be bothered, or if he'll tell me something, perhaps he'll come to the April one, because it's later in April. Um, so that's at a standstill right now. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Their event's April 24th, so I'll let you know if they decide, if I hear from him, he decides to come in April. So they were just going to use um, use Google Park as a parking option? As, as a parking option. But you know, I had questions for it. Besides, he would have to apply and provide us with insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't know, maybe the application fee scared him away. I, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. But 
I had questions like how many cars could we expect so we knew where we would park them. Mm -hmm. uh, would there be buses? I'm assuming they would have a shuttle service up if people got to park their car, they'd have to have a shuttle service. Um, I don't know. New York State History Day is that school buses. Like, yeah. I, I don't know I don't know if it, what it is the yeah. history that uh, Carrie gave us a link but it didn't really tell much mm -hmm. so I wanted more information if he had been able to provide us with some information I could give you a little more information mm -hmm. um, but he didn't um, so so council member Luke Murphy has mentioned history day a couple of times um, and so he might be a good contact to help like they need to get hold of me. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go searching for them. I gave him all the information. Yeah. The, so. Yeah. We're. I mean, we're excited. So this just history on this. Like it, it used to be held in Cooperstown. Now it's being held in Oneonta this year for the first time. They mentioned that they didn't really feel like Cooperstown was like a welcoming place for this event, but it's like a thousand people, so it's kind of a big deal to come mm -hmm. to our community. So. It would be really great if we, I mean, I'm excited to hear that they're trying to, like, you know, facilitate this. Well, you and so can, I'm going to reach out to Luke. to me, but, but I, you know, I gave him all the information to get a hold of me. That you would need. Yeah, yeah. I totally, I totally understand. In my mind, I'm just thinking about trying to facilitate and be as and he was, as possible. he's a graduate student, so who knows, maybe, maybe he was like, no, I don't want to do all that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to um, just send an email to Luke and, and give that information to sure. him as well and see if he can help out. Sure. Yeah. And if he gets a hold of me, I'd be more than glad to help them. Yeah, I was a social cool. studies major, so I love history. <laughs> okay, cool. It's not that I don't want to help them. Sure, it's of just, course. It's just you can't, you, I mean, you can't follow up with every and chase every anyone who expresses Well, yeah, I mean, he park, emailed right? me totally on a Tuesday, and I got back to him the next day. At, so it's not like I let a big wall go by. Yeah, totally. Do we know for sure that the event is definitely going to be held at SUNY Oneonta? Because if it is, and you're expecting that number of vehicles, people, buses, uh, they are going to need a place to park. I yeah. think it's a done deal. Yes. I, mean, I think it's happening. Yeah. I'm pretty sure also. Yeah. Okay, this is certainly during the course of a day at SUNY, there is no, you know, yeah. not, there's not enough available parking for that. Oh yeah, it's on a Monday. Yeah. yeah. Of all yeah. days. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I seem to remember it being held in Cooperstown. Um, and it being a pretty big deal and a pretty good one, so I hope um, I hope Mr. Hell is able to follow up and yes. yeah. is, it is it meant for? Um, I'm not that familiar with this. Is it meant for high school? Uh, college? I believe it's high school for, for, for high school students. I don't know. Okay. I have no other information. So where did, do we know where it was held in Cooperstown in, in the past? Is that kind of more in the Farmers Museum? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll just wait to hear some more information, but I'm sure they're going to need some. If money. I hear from somebody, I'll let you know. Okay. okay. So, uh, and uh, Nicole Rowe with uh, AAA Northeast Branch of, uh, in Oneonta is interested in doing community service for the city. They were going to do it last year, and they're, um, they didn't have enough staff to do it. And they're interested in cleaning up the walkway. And this is a good thing in conjunction with Earth Day. It probably won't be on Earth Day, but it'll be around that time. And it'll be great because it'll be really cleaned up and nice, especially for the uh, Memorial Day and the dedication of the memorial by the Dars uh, group. So um, it's all good news. We're excited to have them. Um, do you want me to go on, Joan? That's all I have for correspondence. Okay. Thank you. Uh, would there be a group interested in just checking out and maybe going through the new um, walkway in Newell Park? Just a, like, maybe not this particular group, but, but if we get some students who want to do something through SUNY Oneonta or even Hartwood College. What new walk? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, the are you idea, talking about the trail? Yeah, yeah the trail. Oh. So, the trail. That I don't know. The, we just got them lined up for this. It, it, I mean, I'm sure as we get closer to the end of the academic year at the colleges, people will be reaching out because they'll need community service projects. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Usually I get lots of calls in April and then we so can get those in. So we've got two weeks left. <laughs> what can we do? Yeah. So 
and we're always glad to have them. And overall, it's just thinking about cleanup. At the, the dog park has been relatively cleaned up, would you say? Yes. Um, yeah, there has I mean, it got closed. The big dog park got closed with the snow. Oh, yes. So uh, I don't know if they've opened that back up or not yet. I would imagine they have, but I don't know for sure. I didn't see anyone there yesterday. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of snows there still. But you haven't had any. The trail is clear. The uh, walkway, the uh, Millways Trail is clear. That's clear. So uh, I did have someone ask me whether or not the new trail would be cleared as far as. We do not plow it. I do not snow it. No, we do not snow blow it. No. And even along the mill race, that no, walkway? Okay. We do not. But the road leading to the um, dog park. That typically was never plowed, but that has been, that whole circular area. Yeah. Well, we cleared that whole circular area for the Festival of Lights, and I think yes. that's yes. continuing that. Yes, yeah. continue to do. Okay, that's, yeah. nice that's not a normal thing that. that they clear, but with the Festival of Lights, they've been clearing it. And these people have been, you know, the weather's been relatively nice. People yeah. have been walking in the park, kids and Yeah, what, are three snowstorms, that's it? <laughs> this, this Don't worry, we'll get some in. Oh, oh, yeah, we're not done. Uh, <laughs> Um, sorry, never mind. You're doing your report. I have a question later on. Later on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's. I, I want to just skip to old business for a second, Carolyn, um, <laughs> because we had a lot of discussion on the trash in the park. That's why I had a question. About. And I did talk to uh, Chris and John and Dave, and I all spoke about this. They are cleaning up the park and emptying trash every day. But the good news is we are replacing all the trash bins on Main Street. And when they are replaced, those trash bins, which are great because they have lids with hood, yeah. little hoods on them, I can't remember what they call that, April, whatever they call it, but those will go into the parks. Great. So more trash cans is always better. So yeah. I think that that will help. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the timeline is for that trash can replacement on Main Street? I do not know. I know they have ordered them. Cool. I've been meaning to ask about so that. So they have been ordered. Okay. Uh, that's what John just told me. Cool. So um, and they're they're covered, so they would they're covered. Get all the rain and the squirrels. Squirrels, <laughs> squirrels and everything. And else mostly the wind, change. because a lot of our trash cans in the parks are just have the bag in them, mm -hmm. and so every wind every that comes, wind. all oh. the trash. And it's not that people are really throwing the trash out; it's blowing out. We actually got an email about that, the city council, about the just the bins with the bags and how yeah. trash like just blows out. Yeah, so. yeah, it's it's a problem. Mm -hmm. it's a Are problem. they still going to keep those? And this will that, be in addition? That, that I, don't, I think it's going to be an addition. I think more trash cans are better. better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when, we, when we had the nice weather, I was there with my daughters, and there was one garbage can. And so having an extra one right there by the play area or yeah. where everyone is. Yeah, that, that would be, nice. would be so they don't have to walk all the way all over the way to the park. Well, we don't, we don't currently have one at the dog park because we just don't have enough. And I think we definitely need one there. Yes. yes. Because yes. That's, that's our dog bins for dog waste right. get filled up with paper with cups everything and else. everything else. I mean, the good news is people are throwing their trash away. The bad news is they're filling up the dog waste bins. I so. think when you see more, too, someone's more likely to pick up trash when they see it walking by if there's a can right there. Mm -hmm. Someone mm -hmm. likes them taking care of it. So I agree. Everyone is I agree. Okay. More trash cans are better. Yeah. Absolutely. So, well, that should help. I did want you to know that I followed up on yeah, that. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Knew, I knew you'd be after me, and I knew Katie would get me if I didn't check on that. So, anyway. Good enough. Thank you very much. Uh, some of these other updates, I did want to let you know, you, I did give you just a sample schedule, weather permitting, um, uh, Oneida High School and Hartwick will be starting their practices on, on the uh, Wilbur Courts. Um, this year I made an executive decision because last year there was, it was difficult for community members to recreate on those courts because of the two teams using it. And uh, they're uh, using 
Uh, Oya High School's original request was 2.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. And then this year they extended their request to Saturdays, which is the first time ever. So I made an executive decision that I gave them Monday through Friday and all seven courts for Oyana High School. So I made an executive decision they, they are going to get 2.30 to 5 uh, on those seven courts. And then they're done. And then Hartwick's going to come in 5 to 7 on courts 1 through 5 so that 6 and 7 is available to the community to recreate during the week mm -hmm. uh, because people want that. Uh, I will post that at the courts. I will send it to Carrie to post on our Facebook page so people will see it. Um, and uh, on Saturdays, uh, I, I didn't get a timeline when OHS wanted practice, they just said Saturdays. So again, I made an executive decision. I put them on courts one through seven from 8.30 in the morning until 11. Then Hartwick comes on from 11 to 1.30. After that, the rest of Saturday and Sunday, with the exception of two dates, which I'll list for, for the community, those courts are open for recreation for the public. Right, because that's the only place you can play tennis in the park, because there are no tennis courts in Neewa. That's so right. If anybody wants to play tennis, they're going to Exactly. And we'll last year, there were some people that, that they didn't understand when the teams were going to be there. And it's very mm -hmm. frustrating, I'm sure, when you go there to play a little tennis and the teams come in and, you know, you, you have to leave. So uh, I have informed both of those teams that uh, our restrooms in the park do not open until the first week of May. So I've asked both groups to have restrooms, uh, have a portable restroom put in. Um, they both told me they're working on it. So I don't know really what that answer is, but there will be no restrooms in the park until the first week of May. May 1st. Before the first week of May, sometime. And this is all contingent upon the weather. I mean, if we get another big snowstorm, this may not happen. Uh, if we have great weather like we have had, it's possible. And you see, Oneana High School opens up. They have their first match on the uh, uh, 31st, I think, yes. And Hartwick only has one home match where they use the courts. So is it, that when the tennis courts are open to the public as well? It's open. Yeah. They're 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 one matches on a Sunday. Yeah. But that's the date that I will give people to say these two dates, this Saturday and this Sunday, will not be available. So uh, when does the staff put the tennis uh, nets and everything in. They'll put them on the week before they're supposed to start, if not sooner. We're just going to wait because if we put those posts in the ground and then we get snow and freezing, it will cause the surfaces to crack even more than they are. So we want to wait as long as possible. So I'm guessing they'll probably do it the week before if the weather's good. And then, same with the pickleball courts. So, so then the entrance to the park on um, both the lower and upper level, will, will that be open? Probably, probably. Definitely on the lower level if, if the teams are coming in there. Right, they would have to mm -hmm. have access. That's usually when we open, especially if the weather is, a lot of it's just the weather. I included uh, Oneana uh, Outlaws home schedule for you. Uh, and uh, I gave you all uh, concert, our concert series schedule. That's not official official, I think it will be. Um, I'm still waiting for a couple of outstanding contracts and I'm waiting for one uh, band name. So the Doug Decker's band, he may have a different name for his band. And as soon as I have that, I'll release it uh, to the public. In a more open way. Questions? Anything? Yes, Looks like uh, the outlaws are starting earlier than usual. No, that's usually is that. it that yeah. early in June? Yeah. So they, they usually they usually come in in May and then start in June. So all of June and all of mm -hmm. July. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They have a few. They have a few games on nights we have concerts, but that's that's okay. We'll get through that. It's not that much competition. The concerts happen right where the festival of lights was. That where the truck is. Right, where, right, right where, where the the, the, the stage is, the yeah. mobile yeah. stage. They only move to the. Sometimes we move them to the uh, pavilions if it, the weather's bad. Which. Everybody hates, but they're <laughs> terrible in pavilions, but we try not to. Will she commit to a musical? She would actually. Okay. She does theater, okay. so yeah. All right. Yeah, she's all over that. The movie start time, that's at 9, because you obviously are waiting for it to get dark yes. to play that. So yes. is the last time you played the movie, is it geared more towards adults? And more towards kids. We, kids. Families. Families. Yeah. Yeah. We do the, the concert series is really for adults, so we try to have something for families and children. I did have one parent say to me, you know, it's unfortunate that you wait so late to start it. And I said, well, you wouldn't be able to see the movie very well at yeah. So oh, that's the whole excitement yeah. for kids to be. Uh, all the kids were excited yeah. about it. I think. Yeah. PJs, candy. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. in the park at yeah. night. Yeah. How exciting is that? I was excited about it. Yeah. 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 We blasted Disney music right up until the oh, start. Oh, yeah. 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 You may have to do this more than once. I mean, this yeah. is, this is really becoming a hit. Yeah, well, so, we'll see. I was going to say, was there a good turnout last year? Pretty good turnout for yeah. the first time of that. Awesome. Yeah. So, wasn't the weather a bit... It got cool oh, toward cool. the we evening, had but I'm the right date. Cold. Yeah. We had a good right. Right. Which ended up working out because the original date was the night before the last day of school. Right, that's right. And it, and it was the following night. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The original was the last day. Yeah. yeah. The weather did us a little bit of a favor there in being able to do it. If the weather's day. bad on this Thursday, we'll, we'll move to that Friday. Okay. Make it a little easier for parents. So we no petitioners at this meeting. Correspondence, old business, any other old business other than trash? questions. Uh, one question they asked specifically was uh, because they had access to the, uh, Carrie gave them all the comments on the survey, um, the one question that centered on why we didn't consider um, disc golf. And I said, well, we did consider disc golf. Uh, and, and there's probably 10 or 12 comments about disc golf in the survey. And uh, I said, we did consider it. Uh, we talked a great deal about it, as a matter of fact, but we thought that it wasn't a good fit for Willow Park. And um, I'm, you know, I'm not sure that um, 
that they agree with that, with that council member, but, um, you know, and I also mentioned that there's a disc golf up at, um, up at East End. But every time I go by, there's nobody there, but maybe it's just my timing. And I did say that we have a member, uh, Trevor, who plays disc golf, and he commented that he didn't think it was used heavily up there. So anyway. Uh, other so questions they asked? focused on this golf? Huh? They kind of focused on this golf? No, no, no. There was just one okay. uh, council member that thought that it should be there. Okay. Uh, they thought that we should have considered it. I was going to say, of all the stuff in the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, well, and, and, and that's probably my fault. I could have mentioned that, that we considered it and decided it wasn't a good fit. I just didn't list it. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of other things, and I just didn't. And I probably should have. But, you know. This golf takes a lot of space. Yeah, that was like eight years. Yes, and it's specifically dedicated yeah. to that. You don't want to be walking, running through, or doing something else, and yeah. have. Well, I, I think if you have something like disc golf, I, I mean, it is popular, and you may attract people who want to do leagues. I don't think that that's a thing for Wilbur Park. Yes, no, not in. No, in particular. I I just don't think it is, and you know. Down the road, if they, you know, if someone changes our minds, fine. You know, I did ask, there was one gentleman, and I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, but he emailed me, he was quite, he listened to uh, our first talk about disc golf, and he was upset that we didn't consider it more, and I said, well, look, you tell me, he told me about all the places he goes, and I said, you tell, you send me uh, what you think, how you think we should set it up in Wilbur Park, and we'll look at it again. And then I never, okay, I will. I never heard back from him, so I, I don't know what happened. But. I wonder if he utilizes the one, like you said, up at the, the parks past Price Chopper. That yeah. has the disc golf. He said he was driving out of town to play all the time, and I'm like... Yeah, and Fortin Park yeah. makes tons of sense. But. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does. Fortin Park, and even the, obviously it's not free, but the where the golf yeah. range is, they have that whole yeah. spot set up. Now, uh, is that weird? I still think Silas Lane would be a good spot, spot for it, too. So the disc golf that Trevor had mentioned, is it where Fortin Park golf uh, ranges, that little mini I think, golf? I or think, it, well, I don't know. There, there's a miniature golf place, and then there's the disc golf. Is it run by the same? I don't, yeah, it's all I don't know. The same, it's I believe it's all through the same... It's the only on park. On park. Yeah, it's oh, okay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's the town. Uh, I don't think it's. It's not run by the town. Yeah, or for I don't think so. I think okay. it's an independent owner. Okay, so there, at least there is a. There is a spot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's see what else did they ask about? Um, asked uh, about a six court. Why we decided that we thought a six tennis court was important, and I explained that. Uh, the tennis hitting wall, um, one council member commented that it's something that we had promised the community to replace that tennis hitting wall after the other one was taken out because it was crumbling. Um, what else? Uh, they um, they like the concept of connecting the upper level of the park with the lower level of the park. Um, like the idea of having uh, stone desk paths that were um, ADA compliant. Um, Trying to think, Carrie, can you think of anything else that I'm missing? No. Um, uh, we told, I, I told them that one of the most important things was the restrooms at the large pavilion. They're very, they're in terrible shape. And, um, you know, that those needed to be high on the priority list. Mm -hmm. so. And the priority of painting at the pool. We, the all season. the things that are listed there for the pool need to be done. I, the only thing that probably will not be done this year is um, the um, heat for the water. I don't think that that was passed. Uh, I'd, I'd like it to be considered, but I don't think it will be. Not for, you know, not for this season. Well, budgets are tight. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah I'm sure that's a big take. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was looking at the cost of some of those, and it, it, you're probably looking at you know, $6,000 to put it in between the cost of it and the installation and then whatever it would cost you to run it for the summer. I think you could probably run it for about $1,000 for the summer, but I, I don't know. 
And that's if you can get all the materials and get someone to do it. And, you know. But look at that from a different timeline. Well, it's in the it's in the plan, so hopefully. It's just, a plan. just out of curiosity, Lou, are those um, natural gas or are they electric, the heaters? It's uh, natural gas, and we have a natural gas line. Oh, so there's the a gas That's line. why we considered it. Mm -hmm. We have natural gas there. But the other things that need to be done in the pool, the grates and, and um, painting and the, the sand, I know there's a term for it, the sand machine that helps to purify the water and all of that needs has to be painted and taken care of and all of those things are on that list. Need to be tended to, with the exception of the uh, natural gas. But by and large, uh, they were pretty happy and confident with what I, they I think decided. I think they were happy with the work that's been done. Um, you know, there's more work to obviously more work to be done, so. Okay. Good enough. Any other new business? Brett, Libby, Courtney? I haven't had any other, at this point, any other spring requests for park events. Um, I am waiting to hear from a couple other organizations that have not heard anything. But would these be new events? No, I'm thinking of the Nika bike race. Oh, I'm guessing right, that that's yes. not going to take place, or maybe it's not going to be held in Oneonta. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything from Mike Maven, and I know he's, you know, he's received my emails. Um, I may follow up with him if I don't hear from, from him in, in a couple weeks. Um, and uh, I haven't heard anything from the Boys and Girls Club, because usually they start, they have some practices in the spring and start playing. I haven't heard from them. And they may be pushing their events to summer, I don't know. How about uh, softball leagues? It, I, I've been in touch with John Frankel. He's interested in doing these, put things out to the women. They're, many of them are so interested in playing. Uh, but that's a summer event. And oh, summer, summer application thing is in April. Oh, that still ten more time for that. So they still have time to get their stuff in. Really, it's just a couple of past users that haven't responded. Yeah, so there, isn't, there isn't a lot that happens in this world. I mean, it's mm -hmm. so it's not. It's not like we have someone waiting in the wings, waiting to hear whether no. they can do something. You know, I'm getting a lot of requests for Field Six in the summer. Uh, I can't give anybody. If they're a returning user and they're asking for their same dates, I can pretty much give them their dates. But if it's anybody new or they're asking for different dates, I have to kind of wait till everybody's application's in. And one of those applications would be Cooperstown Baseball World, correct? Yes, I have not that heard from them, but it's, like I said, it's still early. It's still early, okay. I'm sure I'll hear from Cooperstown Baseball World. Okay. And I haven't heard from Leatherstock and Baseball either. And those are our two biggest users on field six in the summer. Okay. Oh, no. We just spent a bunch of money to resurface field six. What? We just spent a bunch of money to resurface field They'll six. They'll be right. in touch, I'm sure of it. Uh, a baseball field in, in Oneon and Cooperstown is never free. Uh, it will be used, okay. I'm sure. Okay. I'm, I'm not <laughs> Even if we have to put a team together. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going together. It's just too early. I mean, parents aren't thinking about sending their kids to camp yet. Parents aren't thinking about that. It's not spring yet, really. So, anything else? Any other questions, concerns? You mentioned the cleanup for right before Earth Day. Does Parks and Recs do anything, or is there any sort of community cleanup in the parks prior to that, like to kick off? I don't, I, well, there's spring stuff that, that we always do. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. And one of our, a member of our park staff will be there the day this cleanup happens. Okay. They'll make sure they're provided with equipment, equipment mulch, and all of that stuff. So okay. someone will be there from the city. Okay. 
And I did, uh, I'm sorry, I did hear from, uh, I did get an email from Leather Stocking Baseball asking about um, uh, the possibility of doing more dates than they had originally asked for. And I said yes. And then they wanted a little bit of a discount. And I said, we're already discounting everything we can. So again, if they use more than nine dates, they well, get a discount. They get the discount. Yeah. And do, do you feel overall you haven't had any negative pushback on that, on that <coughs> fee schedule? No, the fee schedule is the same as it was last year. So, no. Oh, I was thinking the, the one that you sent gave us. Oh, for the restrooms? Yeah. yeah. Well, we have to. Nothing, yeah. it's, I would think that would be a much easier route to go than to every time you had an event to have to go and purchase that and set that up yourself. I think it's a really good idea to have that all summer long. And everybody has to help out with the costs. Yeah. Well, a couple of those events have applied, so. So, which means they're coming back to the park, which means it's a good That's thing, good. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some haven't, so. But it, like I said, it's early. Uh, almost all are either summer or fall. So they will remain in the park pretty much, it would be all summer and through the fall? Is if, that we, if we do yeah. it the way we had planned, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. They'll be in the park from June 1st to the last weekend in October. Okay. So I know that the um, implementation of the fees was to cover the cost of the restrooms if in electricity in electricity right if um if if all of the users don't return to the park how do we that's the problem katie we don't know we don't know if all of them don't return to the park uh and we go through with our plan the city would have to absorb that fee okay and what is it do you remember how much is it to rent the it's Seven thousand something for the season. Okay. Thank you. The average cost for the users is nine hundred and ninety dollars. That's the average cost. Um, one pays a little bit less because they're smaller, and uh, a couple pay a, uh, considerably more because they're larger. Mm -hmm. It goes from four. 90 something I think and I'm I'm not remembering exactly but it's almost 500 to almost $1,500 that's the scale to pay for that 7,000 and that's for that in, entire duration I'm sorry and that's for the entire duration from June to June to, to November. The last of October, or first week, okay. first weekend in November, or wherever, we're, whatever we do with it, and that includes um, the youth soccer, all, mm -hmm. all of the groups. Okay, they're one of our big users. Right, right. they are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else? The only thing that we would provide for soccer that we have provided for the last two or three years is we we do pay for a um, restroom in Catella because there's no restroom facilities there. Mm -hmm. So we always rent one restroom for yes. the use over there for the two uh, youth fields that are played over there, That's which I think is fair. Like a part of John? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yeah. We always put one at field nine. Right. Having sat through many soccer games there, um, it's much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you, it works for you. Yeah, that's a long walk. Oh my yeah, gosh, right? yeah. And then, then the game is over, you get back, oh, <laughs> sorry you missed, I scored three goals. Yeah, <laughs> every goal and your kid says, I scored and you were in the restroom. Yeah. It's bad enough you get, I scored and you were talking to so-and-so, but yeah. you have to run to the bathroom. Oh, gee, can't win on that one. <laughs> Does that go from spring when soccer starts? When they do the rec league over on those fields, the board of jobs go out there, or is that just for the fall? Or just for the fall. Yeah. 
Where does they have soccer in the spring? There must be a right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it doesn't come over the house, yeah. It doesn't come over the house. That's in the town. Yeah. Okay. If there's nothing else, would someone like to make a motion to adjourn? I will happily make that motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brett? And who would like to second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.